Margit the Fell Omen is the first mandatory boss you'll encounter in Elden Ring. You'll find his fog gate inside the Castle Ward Tunnel, which begins at the top of Stormhill, the windswept lands northeast of the starting area called Limgrave. The hammer-wielding steward is old but quick on his feet and poses a more significant threat to slower, melee-focused players, especially those of a lower level. If you're still trying to figure out how to beat Margit the Fell Omen, we've got you covered. In this Elden Ring boss guide, we'll show you how to find a unique item to make the fight much more effortless. I don't recommend combating Margit until you've leveled up your primary weapon at least two times. Additionally, make sure to call upon Sorcerer Roger before entering the fight. His golden summoning sign lies on the right side floor of the Fog Gate. However, if you need a more considerable advantage, you're going to have to unlock Margit's Shackle, a reusable item you can trigger twice during the boss's first phase. This method also prevents Margit from damaging Roger or your spirit summons too early in the duel, ensuring you have additional damage throughout the second phase of the boss fight. You can buy Margit's Shackle from an optional merchant named Patches for 5,000 runes, but only after you fight and spare him inside Murkwater Cave. To find Murkwater Cave, head up the ravine beginning at the northeastern boundary of Agheel Lake, beware the beast guarding the shallow waters. After beating the group of skeletons beneath the bridge, continue up the river and prepare to duel Bloody Finger Nerigus, an invading NPC who inflicts a potent bleed effect with his dual daggers. Carefully dodge Nerigus' attacks until Bloody Finger Hunter Yura joins the fray and offers assistance, or coat your greatsword in fire grease and unleash your Ash of War on him like I did. After defeating Nerigus, look towards the riverbank for the entrance to Murkwater Cave marked by a torch. Once inside, rest at the site of Lost Grace and defeat the thieves in the next chamber. The cave interior splits into two passages, take the right path and you'll find the Golden Fall Gate signifying the battle with Patches. I hesitate to call him a boss. Traverse the mist and open the treasure chest next to the campfire. Patches will announce himself from higher up in the cavern before jumping down to begin the fight. Do not use your spirit summons because you'll need to stop attacking Patches halfway through. At roughly half health, Patches will surrender and ask for mercy. After forgiving him, the now friendly NPC will tell you to visit his new item shop later. Run back to the site of Grace at the cave entrance, rest, and return to Patches' chamber. The mischievous merchant will now sell you several valuable goods, but most importantly, Margit's shackle. After heading back to Castle Ward Tunnel, summon Sorcerer Rogier to your aid, traverse the mist, and begin the battle with Stormvale's Vexing Steward. This time, save your spirit summons for later. Margit usually starts throwing two glowing daggers, simply dodge roll out of the way. If he focuses on you, be mindful of the quick swings he uses in rapid succession. Margit briefly catches his breath after his flurry of attacks. This is the moment to activate Margit's shackle. A seal of holy light will stun Margit, grounding and leaving him open for a flurry of attacks. Stack enough damage during this lockdown and you'll stagger the boss, creating a window for an easy critical hit. Remember, you can use Margit's Shackle twice before the second boss phase, so repeat the lockdown process once more. At 60% health, Margit will pull out his holy powered Kirkhammer, beginning the second section of the fight. As he starts speaking to you again, you'll have time to summon your spirit companions. I'd recommend using the Lone Wolf Ashes or Godric Soldiers, which you can find in the Jellyfish Filled Cemetery west of Stormhill. You won't have much time in between Margit's four combo attacks, so focus on dodging and healing until he slams his staff or hammer into the ground. Then punish him. Upon victory, you'll receive access to Stormvale Castle, the first legacy dungeon in Elden Ring, and a talisman pouch which enables you to equip an additional talisman. Congratulations and have fun in Stormvale Castle. So there's our guide on how to defeat Margit the Fell Omen. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to watch our Elden Ring Beginner's Guide and keep an eye out for more videos like this in the coming days. As always, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, we're almost to 700,000 subscribers, and head over to GameInformer.com for the latest news, previews, reviews, and features on your favorite upcoming and past games.